Hey Virgo, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot and weekly astrology predictions or predictions for the week. Um, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Uh, my name is Michelle. For those of you who are just arriving, for those of you who are returning, God bless you and thank you for the support that you give to the channel. I always create an extended reading just so that you know you can join me for even more of a message and that link is down below in the description box. I'll clip it to the top of the, the um, comment section and I'll also put a link above in this area, maybe this area, <laughs> um, toward the end of the video so you can just click right on it and join me. Um, this is my second of two YouTube channels, so I, enjoy, I invite you to explore my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation. That is where I do my daily tarot card readings where you can join in the live chat. I'd love to have you there. This is your reading, Virgo. So you apply the energy that I described wherever it applies in your life, wherever it resonates. And if it's not resonating with you, then please do check out your moon sign or your rising sign videos as I do 12, all 12 zodiac sign messages every single week. So maybe one of those is for you and I would love for you to enjoy those as well. Um, and I don't actually put any dates on them. The astrology that we will discuss is between I think December 15th and December 22nd. But that's basically when the energy happens. When it reaches you and actually impacts your life could be a totally different time. So this message comes to you exactly when it's supposed to come to you. Now the astrology is pretty pretty beautiful actually. Mercury has moved into Capricorn and this is a much more stable and um, harmonious energy for you. It's about getting things done, thinking clearly, and it's about planning ahead. It's also about growing up and getting serious about things. It's a very practical and pragmatic energy. If you study sun sign astrology, you would say that it is Virgo's traditional fourth house, but I would recommend that you find out where where Capricorn rules in your house wheel, like where what what house is in Capricorn in your natal chart, because that's basically where everything is going to be going down. Because Mercury, your ruling dignitary, has entered Capricorn. It the the major aspects to Mercury are the conjunction with Venus, which is it's loosening up. It kind of loosens and then toward the end of the week it gets a little tighter, but it's never going to get as tight as it was when it was in Scorpio. We're basically about four or five degrees apart and I think it gets about six or seven degrees apart midweek. So it's 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 not as tight. So your confidence levels may not be as high, but I don't think that that's going to impact you terribly dramatically. The thing that's really, really impacting Mercury is number one, it is um, trying to Uranus, which is just brilliant energy. It's, it's, it's wanting change, it's looking for change, it's being interested in different things that you normally would not be interested in and wanting to be, um, wanting to explore or be introduced to doing things that you normally wouldn't want to um, or wouldn't be interested in. You're gonna find the odd interesting and your mind is going to be very, very expansive and very, very clever. So you'll be able to think really quickly um, and, and process information really quickly. Um, and then we also have, and I'm going to look at this now, we have a square to Chiron. Now the square to Chiron is, it's, it's hard. It's difficult energy. Any, any, any relationship with Chiron speaks of healing from pain that you suffered, but a square to Chiron is, between Mercury and Chiron is, Speaking of things that you never got a chance to say or things that were said that really caused you a great deal of pain. And since um, Capricorn is uh, the sun sign natural fourth house, it could be about shit that was said to you by your parents or during childhood, even if not by your parents, stuff that you remember and that has impacted you and that cut deep. So you may not even remember what was said, but you will remember how it made you feel and it's th that pain that I think is pushing you to see things in a different way or want change, want to do make some sort of dynamic change to how your family dynamic is, maybe to your family itself or just uh, just even yourself. Um, 
I think this is actually an extremely powerful week for you. It's a week where you're definitely inspired to um, switch things up and, and in a way that is not familiar, I would say not common to Virgo in that you you want it done quickly. Not necessarily that the change has to happen quickly, but that you're ready to initiate the change and, and really open to it. I think this, this memory or this understanding of the hurt and the suffering has come up to the surface and that is what's inspiring you to move forward or it's definitely what could be inspiring you. So I've got a couple cards here in front of me. This is just the beginning of the reading. So let's get into it time to let go yeah <laughs> something has definitely been chewing on your heart this is scorpionic energy this could have been words that somebody had said that really ripped into you and it's been sitting there and it's been causing pain this is scorpionic energy so it could also be pain that you have tried to escape from perhaps even eat your way out of you know sometimes we we eat to sort of eat away our pain or some other toxic since this is it is scorpio energy some other sort of toxic behavior that you may have developed um to help you you fend off the pain or not feel the pain or or help you cope like some sort of coping mechanism that in and of itself has become extremely hard for you to deal with and now if this is not you this could be somebody that you're dealing with but we are front and center here and this is like unsurfaced so it's definitely in a good position and i think that it's a, in a position where you will be empowered to talk about this or tackle this it's not going to be something that will elude you anymore and spirit has a plan so this is all in divine timing this could be talking about talk therapy or getting some sort of guidance or speaking like speaking to somebody or even prayer or praying some sort of just faith or being able to see it from a perspective that is more objective so that you can figure it out and like i said that fantastic um tr uh, tr trying to uranus is really speaking to this here a sense of you being able to see things in a different way so that you can it's not even about taking control over the situation it's about taking your life back um so is this going to be a transformative energy for you yes absolutely and i don't think since since this is spirit has a plan it seems like please don't do please don't get at yourself or rip apart you know anybody at this week who is basically just figuring it out now because some these things take time to get clarity about and it's it's divine timing like there's no way that you could have been ready to discuss this or see this even a, even a week ago you know definitely not a month ago not a year ago it's like it's it this clarity and this ability to grasp it and touch upon it and look at it maybe even just to study it is it's happened right now it's 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 just happened right now this could also speak to it was an authority figure in your life that did the things to you that ate your heart out or really hurt you so whatever that is it could be your boss really chewing you out if this has to do with work um it could it could definitely have been parental parental figures in your life that had said something or built built this and you know this this feeling in you that makes you want to change that you're inspired to change i want to just just kick back and say this has been a rough couple of weeks and i absolutely know it and it's those those weeks that are hardest for us where we grow the most and we are the strongest so i want to congratulate everybody out there who has been sticking it out and sticking it through um this is about um like i said this is about this is about realizing i'll say this right now it's about realizing you know the way you treat me is about who you are not about who i am it's got nothing to do with me and even though even though it has nothing to do with me and it is not my fault, healing from it does become my responsibility. But that also gives me an, a wonderful opportunity to decide where I wanna go from here and who I wanna be. So this is absolutely a time when you can click on that Virgo energy of healing and do some really deep rooted healing surrender now and this is sagittarius season so it's speaking of the time frame with which you're you're 
this is coming to light but it's also saying surrender now let let this energy carry you to places unknown it let like give yourself over to the not spot and yeah the spontaneity of the moment the unknown of the moment this is also in general it could be being attracted to something like a moth to a flame being pulled in that direction and i gotta say honestly this would be the time when you would would be pulled in a direction and not feel bad about it at all and not even try to hold yourself back because it's almost like fuck it i'm just gonna do it because i don't want to feel this way anymore i don't want to be stuck here anymore and so if you behave a little bit more impulsively than you used to it or that you usually will or th than you ever will again it's because you you want the change to happen and you want to help catalyze a change it's a statement that is being made um, a statement that is being made that I, I can't stay where I am. I can't stay where I was. Um, and I'm, I'm going to initiate this change, even if it makes other people uncomfortable. Um, Virgo, Virgo, yeah, conclusions are within reach. So <coughs> <coughs> what are the questions that you have been asking Virgo? That's what I would like to know. Conclusions are with, oh, wow. Well, I asked what are the questions, are you, so it's a, a, it's about family. You and your loved ones are safe and hold your vision. So that's coming out in the future. And it's in response to me asking, um, what what is it, um, um, I don't know, what is it that you were concerned with? What was my question? <laughs> I gotta, I, yeah. Let me read the cards. You and your loved ones are safe and hold your vision. So it's a sense of listen. Whatever you're being pulled to, whatever you're trying, whatever new curiosity you're exploring, your family is gonna be fine. In fact, this could be what makes your family fine. So even though there may be discomfort, you're still working through, Ultimately, please maintain your vision and maintain your, uh, yeah, maintain your certainty. Um, you're halfway there. You didn't come this far to only come this far. Your family is going to be all good or you are doing this to make your family safe. And the cards are saying, yeah, you know that. Keep doing it. Keep heading in that direction because this is, this is what you guys need. Um, Let's read the cards about what, what's going on right now. Conclusions are within reach had already come out, which means being certain of something, being sure. So you are definitely going to get your answers this week, certainly, and almost like quantifiably, and then take time to breathe out. So thank God you'll be able to like, oh, such a relief because the answers you need will be there. And we're gonna get into what those answers are when I pick up the tarot cards. Take time to breathe out because yes, now you know. Or you have now gotten to a point of being comfortable enough to say, you know what, I, conclusions are within reach like they they i'm i'm good with them so i can exhale and feel better because i know i know that the end is here i know that i i know that i like i know i know what i know and i have certainty about it and then we have adjustments are required so yes let's read those again conclusions are within reach take time to breathe out because yes, adjustments are going to be required. So there are changes that are going to be made, but you and your family, you and your loved ones, whoever you consider this, it, you are safe. You are safe and you are, you are like hold your vision because you're on the right track. So what are these changes? Let's get the details, okay? What are these changes? One, eight of cups you're fed up and you're done there's a disinterest here and there's a i'm not putting any more effort or energy into this because i'm never getting and i don't get anything out of it five of cups is you have gotten nothing but disappointment from this situation and i think you finally realize that that's all it's ever gonna be and you have to walk away and you always do it in divine timing so it, when you're ready, when you're ready. So this is saying you are ready. You, you've realized I we can't do any more at this point or I can't do any more at this point. And, and trying to do any more would be pointless. 
because I've exhausted all of my outlets. And I just gotta say, even though it's sad, it's it's gotta be something. It's something about the past. You're. It's like it's like I'm almost. I'm done wishing things had turned out differently. It's like you're willing to let the past go now. I'm done wishing things had been done differently. I'm done being sad about about old stuff that I can't change. I'm done focusing on what I've lost instead of what I have. So this is actually your energy coming back online and an uptick into joy and being being better, being healthier, being happy, being in a happier spot. Um, I also have to say, um, if you had some inheritance that had come to you, this could be the money running out or it, it being at the end of the line. I don't think that's for the most part. I think that there's a sense of, of almost acceptance, acceptance in the release of all this does is, is give me disappointment. So I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to keep trying. This is Capricorn energy and this is the star card. So you have Capricorn energy. That's definitely where Mercury is right now. And then you have the star card, which is where Saturn is right now. So this is very karmic cycle. This could have to do with a, um, um, your expect. If you have a Capricorn in your life, um, it's almost like, um, your aspirations for them. Maybe this is what you're <laughs> done with. Um, or if, if there's an Aquarius in your life, there's a sense of you're done trying to um, take charge. You're done trying to give them any structure. Um, it's almost like it's almost like in some ways accepting that some people just want to be the way that they are and this is who they are. And ultimately, because that's their choice doesn't mean it has to be your choice. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's like somebody that, it's almost like somebody's aspirations or goals or amb ambitions are more important than anything or they're sort of obsessed with it right now. The devil and the star is really interesting energy because it's almost like being obsessed with your dreams is it, that's kind of that's kind of what it is and it's like you know um it's almost like being stuck or being lost in your dreams being held back or being tied up by by the way that you wished it to be this could also be for some of you really good news because it's almost like whatever you're what you were working on in business whatever contracts is almost like the dream contract. But no, I have to say, just watch because it's almost like in some ways, somebody's trying to tempt you with your dreams. Yeah, let's get deeper into that. Um, Ace of Cups is here. This is coming up in the past. So this does have to do with um, a very intimate relationship. Could be your spouse, could also be marriage. So for some of you, I'm not saying this for all of you, you could be deciding to let go or walk away or from a marriage or from something that had really, you'd been, maybe not marriage, but something that you'd been really psyched about, like really excited about or something that at one point in the past had really filled you up right? A feeling of that not being true anymore. And yet, and yet, if adjustments are made, there is possibility for there to be a renewal. I just think maybe you guys want different things. And, and since this could be happening in your fourth house, there's this sense of the family starting to look different and a dynamic change or happening to it. Let's get a little bit deeper into that. Let's get a, okay, page of cups. Yeah, this is in reverse. So it's almost like a, 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 like a love that didn't last very long or a love that is over, an offer of love that has been rescinded or there is a younger water sign in your life that is, um, has been struggling. Um, now it does say that you and your loved one is safe. So hold your vision. 
so what does that mean? What does that mean? It, it could be that there was a concern, Ace of Pentacles, something's gonna cost you a lot of money. This sense of, of finding the money or finding the money to invest in um, the practicalities of things, the odds and ends, the costs or expenses of things. Um, and then the Empress is here. So it's almost like, yes, the money will come, the money will be there. The money will be there when you need it to be there. And it'll definitely happen between Capricorn and Aquarius season. Um, even if right now you feel like it won't or you feel like something isn't happening, there's just a disappointment here. Um, I'm telling you things will turn around. I don't know who this message is for, but I definitely want to go deeper. Virgo, why don't you join me over in the extended? We have, oh, the three of pentacles. So this is hard at work and people seeing and really appreciating you, um, appreciating your work, or maybe you haven't felt. And the knight of pentacles is a job or work that you've been doing where you don't feel as appreciated as you should. And then the tower is here. So there was some sort of shock that you didn't realize was going to happen. So it could be a change of work um, or change in your working situation. Maybe you had to go back to work and you don't really enjoy it. Even if you're good at it, there is a lack of pleasure. Um, there does seem to be, leave the comments below because I would love to know how this is impacting you. And then the tower is here. And I want to clarify what that tower was. What is that tower? What happened with this tower, please? What happened with the tower? A queen of swords, a decision was made. A decision was made, a diagnosis was made. Something became very clear about a very shocking situation. And now you know how to proceed forward. Let's go deeper. The extended link is below. I'll see you guys there.